everybody and welcome to our house tour of our new Airbnb cabin in the mountains. I cannot wait to show you the inside of this place. So let's go inside. So we actually bought this place on accident. We are looking in this area uh, at an authentic log cabin and it ended up not being a property that we wanted. There was just too much work to be done, but we had drove a couple hours out to look at this house. And so my husband said, Shannon, let's just go look at this really cool place. And I was like, that's way too expensive for our first Airbnb location. And he's like, yeah, we drove all the way out here. Let's just go look at it. We're already all the way out here. So we came and looked at it and we both absolutely fell in love with this house. It is so magical, not just the house itself, which is a custom built home, but also the location. We're on 18 acres and it's just super remote and secluded and it's just a really magical place. There's wildlife all over, deer, elk, bobcats, um, all sorts of really cool like birds and uh, it's just really beautiful and magical and I can't wait to share this space with you today But also once we get it renovated and furnished we get to share it with you on Airbnb And so I'm very excited. We're also building a glamping camp on the property um, On the other side of this property. So it'll be two separate uh, Kind of places on Airbnb. That'll be the glamping camp and then also the camp cabin. We're still trying to come up with a name for the cabin, <laughs> um, but so far it's the camp cabin because we're also building a glamping camp here, but enough of me blabbing, come on inside. Okay, I guess the front door is locked, but um, so it doesn't usually snow this much here in Tehachapi, California. That is where this is located. It's about two hours outside of LA. So if you were living in LA or in that area and you wanted a fun place to come vacation and get away from the city, this would be a perfect location because it's not too far. It's also not too far of a drive from LAX. If you fly into LA, you can rent a car and it's only a two hour drive to come out here. Um, if you guys ever want to come visit, we would love to host you. Um, but I'll show you kind of like what this looks like um, right now. It's kind of a little hard to see because it's, I'll be, we're in the middle of a winter blizzard. Like I said, they don't usually get this much snow here. So it's kind of abnormal, but it's just gorgeous, especially um, when there's no snow. It's just all green mountains and it's so beautiful. Um, and it's just like in, in the house from every window, there's just like a stunning view. So let's go ahead and go in through with the front door. But as you can see out here, there is this whole deck and then upstairs there's decks. So you can enjoy the view and sit outside um, when it's not snowing. <laughs> um, but like I said, it really doesn't snow that much here. So it's just kind of like a special surprise we got. But all right, let's go inside the front door. Come on in. So when you first walk into the cabin, there's this huge like mudroom slash office space and we still don't really know exactly what we're going to do with it because I feel like on Airbnb it's really important to have like a workspace um, but because this is a pretty large cabin I don't know if people are going to come here to work <laughs> I feel like I see it more as like families coming to vacation together so I don't know we'll have to figure it out but look at the views like there's just so many windows and you just see beautiful views and like deers in the mountain. We saw like um, a whole group of like five or six deers earlier today, just like frolicking in the mountains. And it's just such a magical, special place. And then over here, you can see a bunch of mountains and you don't see any neighbors. It's just very like remote and secluded. And that was one of the reasons I really fell in love with this property was because it's just so private. You just feel like one with nature. Okay, so then um, when you come back this way, I'm gonna take you through again. We haven't done renovations, we haven't done paint. This is like kind of how we bought it. We have a couple pieces of furniture in here that we did find on like Facebook Marketplace or thrift stores, but um, I am most likely gonna be changing it out because we're working with an interior designer now um, that's helping us and she didn't like the furniture I picked up. <laughs> My style is not that great when it comes to designing, I guess, but um, we're gonna kind of go for like a sophisticated, like vintage summer camp theme for like the overall look. 
um, you know, like kind of like a cabin that like rich kids and their parents would come to to like vacation. That's kind of like the vibe we're going for. Um, and if you hear loud noise, it's because uh, we're doing laundry right now here. But I'll take you into the first like living room space. So this is one of the first like little living room spaces. I guess I should turn some lights on in here. It's kind of dark even though it's in the middle of the day. It's kind of like the uh, first living room space. And then I'll take you over this way. Um, this is kind of the other like second living room area. And it's got these beautiful vaulted ceilings with uh, wood on the ceiling. I don't know how to like, you know, when people like describe their house, I'm not very good at that. But there's some really great like wood beams in here. Um, I scored this <laughs> restoration hardware bookcase and um, side table on Facebook Marketplace for $600, and I'm so excited about it. I don't know if this is where we're gonna keep it, but um, yeah, I'm very excited about that furniture. And then I also got a jukebox <laughs> on Facebook Marketplace because they said it worked. The lights turned on, but it doesn't actually work. Um, but I think there might be people that fix these, so I might wanna try to do that because I think it's a great conversation piece and it's just really fun. I think, and um, something that, you know, adds a little extra to our Airbnb and um, could be kind of fun. There's also this massive wood-burning fireplace um, stove in, the, um, in this space, and I always wanted one of these, so I'm very excited because you can actually, like, heat your house with wood, um, and there's a bunch of, like, a big wood pile um, outside uh, to be able to heat your house. Uh, and also, you can like put teapots and like cook food on top of this when it's hot. So I think that's so cool. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's what this like second living room space looks like. Also, again, tons of beautiful views out all the windows, um, and there's uh, French doors here that you can um, that lead to outside, which is really pretty. Again, um, it's kind of hard to tell because it's like snowy and overcast and kind of dark right now but it really is so beautiful outside when it's um, not snowing. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you into the kitchen area. And uh, again, we haven't done like renovations or anything yet, but um, we got this table in here. We're most likely gonna take this out, like this little area here to have more seating for like the dining room area. Um, and that's what that looks like. We have a Bosch, it came with a Bosch dishwasher, um, a beautiful um, island with a sink in it, and this like butcher block countertop, which I love. It just needs to be like refinished. Um, but I, I really like that. I think it's really pretty. Um, and then when you're at the sink or you're doing dishes, you have this beautiful view outside, which I just, I'm just so obsessed with the views. Cause again, like there's just an amazing view out every window. Um, and then over here, this was also like one of um, my favorite spots. I don't put the light on. I don't know why you put it up so high. It's so short. No, it's right read. here. It's right here. Oh, just kidding. Can't read. Okay. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder, Shannon. Um, anyway, the light switch is there, but this Viking commercial uh, oven is just so nice i love that like dark blue color i'm actually thinking we might try to match this dark blue color to paint the bottom of the cabinets sorry my brain is broken and i'm very slow uh with trying to think of what i'm thinking in my brain anyways we are thinking maybe of painting these like dark blue to match that so we'll see also if you're wondering why this is um dripping is because we don't want our Pipes to freeze because of snowing and cold outside. And then the fridge is right here. I don't know if you saw that, but it's a really nice um, fridge with opens like that and then a big freezer at the bottom. Nice and clean. Everything is very clean here, which I really like. I think that's important in an Airbnb is cleanliness. So we're gonna make that our top priority. Um, and then I will take you down through this hallway. Uh, it's a little dark. Um, there's a pantry in here, and then over here, again, don't mind the mess, <laughs> is the laundry room. There's a washer and dryer that all of our Airbnb guests will have access to. And then coming along over here. All right, so this is what the bathroom looks like on the second level floor, I guess. And 
it's a little outdated but it does have a huge shower and I really love this shower I've been taking showers in here and I feel like it's like so nice and big again another view really pretty view out there um, and then coming downstairs I will show you uh, this is a root cellar underneath here, like a massive one. Um, the garage is in here. And then this is the fourth bedroom. Again, and there's just like a bunch of stuff in here, but we'll probably put maybe like one, like a queen bed down here. Um, again, really beautiful views out every window. So that's our well house, by the way. Um, because I, I feel like whenever you go to like a cabin or something, you want it to be really secluded. You don't want to have to like see your neighbors. And I feel like when I show outside, you might think that that's a neighbor, but it's not. It's just the well house. Um, so yeah, this is this room. And that's what it looks like right now. We haven't again like furnished or decorated anything, but I wanted to show you guys kind of what it looks like before. And then over here um, is our garage that we have a heater blasting because it's freezing blizzard winter outside so that's why that's on um and this is just what it looks like right now because again we're trying to like move stuff renovate stuff um and i'll give you guys a little sneak peek of some of the um decor items that i have collected from like thrift stores and facebook marketplace and all kinds of fun places you can kind of see some of the things I've got like ores and salt lamps and all kinds of fun stuff deer pillows I've got a bubble gum machine and I'm gonna do these really cool um, so we'll have like one for kids you know kind of like looks like this I'm gonna put this in like the kids bunk room because I thought that would be fun for kids when they come visit um, so we'll do like little treasures like that for kids and then I thought we could do like gumballs in one and then do one for adults just because it's like I don't know the experience of nostalgia where I do like little fortunes and they can get them that way so I thought that would be kind of fun found that antiquing um, this is one of the log I think I might do all log beds that the Amish make um, just because I think that they're really well made and sustainable and all that fun stuff so let me turn the lights on or off down here we also have two fridges I don't think that the garage is gonna be accessible to the guests I think this is where we're gonna cuz it's ugly I think this is just gonna where we store like extra cleaning supplies and extra sheets and pillows and stuff like that so um, some of our tents are over there for the glamping camp okay moving on let's take you guys upstairs so you can see the upstairs bedrooms we are making this handicap accessible. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna end up having to put a like pull out sofa or some somewhere for um, you know, wheelchair to be able to come in and also uh, have a ramp for the stairs for people that need that. So um, okay, we're, now we're gonna head up the stairs. This is the third floor of the cabin it's really massive it's got these stunning green carpets that we're going to be pulling out <laughs> um and replacing with wood floors but when you first come up to the right you will see the master bathroom and it has a walk-in shower it's pretty large i kind of like the like vintage looking tile <laughs> And then it has this like green bathtub over here, which I think is really interesting. And then this really pretty round window, a green toilet, <laughs> very vintage and retro. Um, also, I have to tell you something I'm very excited for this um, Airbnb cabin is I'm gonna be putting heated toilet seats and built-in bidets on, on all the toilets <laughs> for my glamping camp and for this cabin, if you stay here, you will get to experience the heated toilet if you haven't already and um, the built-in bidet that has like warm water and a dryer to like dry you off and clean you. It's like amazing. It's a, definitely an experience if you haven't uh, had it already. And then closet here, this is the um, master. So we have some of our wood floors that we're getting ready to figure out which flooring we're gonna put in. Um, but again, just the views 
from every window are really just magical. Um, it's so pretty with all the snow right now. So this is what this room looks like. Again, remember that this is um, before <laughs> us renovating everything. And something really cool about this is that you, it has these like windows and you can open them up and look down <laughs> into the living area over there. And then it's open over here too, upstairs. So you can like look down, but look at all these windows. Isn't that so pretty? I love all the windows, so much natural light and just so much beauty. And then there's French doors here that lead out to this big long deck. You can go out there, have your morning coffee, just enjoy nature. There's another closet behind there. I guess I should show you what it looks like. <laughs> um, there you go. And then over here, I will take you to the other bedrooms. But again, here's a little overlook. Look at all these windows. Oh my gosh. Obsessed. Um, okay, so then over here are two more bedrooms. This bedroom I think is going to be like the bunk house or like the bunk bedroom. And I, what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, remove all of this out and then make, I think, queen bunk beds here, like built in wooden queen bunk beds there and then twin bunk beds here. So you can fit a lot of people in this room. And then there's a little closet in here. I guess it's not little, it's pretty big actually. And then again, another stunning view from the windows here you can see the mountains and how pretty it is. Oh, I love it. So pretty. All right, and then I will take you to the last bedroom, which is over here. And this is probably my favorite bedroom because of the views in this room. So we're obviously gonna paint this room, but it's got nice big vaulted ceilings in here. It's got a huge closet and the views from here are just magical. You get to see this whole big mountain over here and there's a lot of wildlife. So you see elk and deer and if you're just like laying in the bed over here, um, you know, just imagine a cozy bed with like hotel quality sheets all nice and cozy and you're laying down and you can just look out these windows and see like deer and elk and it's just so pretty. So yeah, that is the house tour. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys the whole house now, um, except for the backyard. I guess I didn't show you the backyard. So I'll take you around back so that you guys can see that. Um, but for the most part, that's kind of like the overview and what the house looks like. Um, I will leave a link in the description for you guys to leave your email in case any of you guys are interested in um, coming to stay once we do furnish this place. I will definitely um, do like an after video of once it's all furnished and decorated for you guys to check it out. If you guys have any questions or you want me to do like a Q&A, on airbnb cabin or the glamping camp definitely let me know um, i'm happy to answer any questions you guys have um, but let's go out back so i can show you um what it looks like i mean you can kind of see from here <laughs> there's like a little basketball court we've got our motorhome out there and then the there are two like green garage doors are over there but um, yeah, it's just that's really about it I'll show you guys some pictures from like the Zillow listing because then that can kind of give you guys better like idea of like a drone shot overhead and what that looks like and um, Yeah, so I think that's it, but <laughs> thank you so much for watching I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video Mwah. Oh, I think what I was trying to tell you was um, There'll be a little link to put your email in did I already tell you that? Um, and then that way when the Airbnb opens, um, you'll get a little notification saying like, Hey, Shannon's Airbnb camp cabin is open to rent on Airbnb. Um, or, and also about my glamping camp when that is open, they're like canvas tents, really cool. So, um, anyway, okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Love you. Bye.